Good morning everybody, this is Nate from The Kramer Life and today is Monday, September 27th. Katie and I just got into Portland, Oregon from a long road trip from Asheville, North Carolina. We came out here to visit friends and family for about six weeks and we plan on staying until the end of October. We also came out here to search for properties in hopes to find a property closer to my family so we can start our homestead. While we're here, there's a lot of downtime that I'm having because Katie works full time during the week. My family and friends work full time during the week. And so Katie and I thought it would be a good idea for me to spend my time helping my brother out with some home projects that he's been trying to get to just but just doesn't have the time or energy after long days of work. The main projects will be to paint and put in new carpet upstairs where there's three bedrooms and two bathrooms and then just some general cleaning and fixing up of various things around the house. So the work that I'll be doing is completely free. I'm providing all the materials and all of the labor as a thank you for him allowing us to stay here with the dogs and for all of the work that he's helped over the years um, of us growing up together. Today, I'm gonna start by replacing a faucet downstairs in a half bath and the shower handle upstairs in the master bathroom. First task of the day will be replacing the sink faucet. As you can see, it drips even when the handles are closed all the way. It actually drips out of the hot water side. Uh, so what we end up doing is just turning the hot water off at the hot water heater, but that does it for the whole house. So. I'm gonna just do a simple replacement of this and we can keep the hot water on for the rest of the house. As a side note, the shutoff valves underneath the sink, they are old. This house is probably 20 some years old. So even when these are in the fully closed position, it doesn't stop water flow to the faucet. Now that I have the faucet handle off, I'm just going to do some general cleaning. I'm going to use some Lysol Advanced Deep Clean All Purpose Cleaner, the Lemon Breezy Scent, and a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. This is what I'll be using for most of the surface cleaning throughout this project. The Magic Clean didn't get it quite as clean as I thought it would. I'm going to scrape down some of this residual soap scum with my knife. If you have a razor blade, that would work as well. You should be putting light pressure so you don't gouge the surface. Not as clean as I would like it to be. It's way cleaner. Not sure if the camera can pick up on some of that residual soap scum, but it's still there. All right, cold water works, hot water does not because we have it turned off at the hot water heater. All right, let's turn this guy off. I was reluctant to replace the entire uh, drain assembly down here. But I think I'm going to go ahead and do that.
right, now that I've replaced the downstairs half bath um, sink faucet, I'm going, I've now moved upstairs to the master bathroom. Okay, so for this shower faucet assembly, I'm only missing the faceplate for the temperature adjuster. So I think I'm going to take it apart and see if I can find this part number and see if I can order just the faceplate. I was able to find the replacement part for the uh, temperature adjuster handle. It's on, uh, it's a Delta faucet, single metal lever handle for temperature knob and cover. That means I don't have to purchase a new um, faucet, shower faucet assembly, which saves about 80 bucks but I still need to purchase a new shower head. So I'm gonna go return what I purchased at Lowe's and just get a shower head, test this out, and order the cover, which will arrive tomorrow. So I have returned the shower valve. I bought a shower head. I got a water pick with power pulse. Ooh, uh, hand held shower head, because you know, it's a master bathroom. You might as well have a handheld one, because those are nice. So I'm gonna get that installed and then give it a test and see if it works. Gonna spray out a little bit of air first because the, the hot water line has been drained. Removing the silicone between the drywall and the shower because it's dirty and there's a lot of cracks in it. So I'm just gonna put new silicone in place. I'm gonna put on some, put in some spackling in these areas where there's big gaps between the wall uh, and uh, the shower. All of this because there was some cracking, but mostly moldy silicone. I'm making a lot of work for myself. I'm not worried about this gap right here, because that'll be filled in with silicone. When this stuff turns white, it's dry. While I wait for the spackle in the master bathroom to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning. I'm gonna clean the baseboards, doors, walls, uh, clean up any grime, so when I put some paint on, it'll be nice and clean and it won't bleed through or strip off. Uh, I'll be using just standard Mr. Clean uh, Magic Erasers for most of it. For any tough spots, I'll use uh, the Lysol um, uh, Advanced Deep Clean. I'm gonna start in one of the bedrooms. Uh, this room needs the most amount of cleaning. Um, Carpet still in uh, still in this room that will be removed when the new carpet is installed. There's a hole in the ceiling that I'll be patching, and then just the baseboards and the walls just need a pretty good cleaning. For this hole here, I've already cleaned around the edge of it. I will put the uh, fiber tape patch on. It's an adhesive patch. I'll cover it with the spackle, and then later on I'll come in with the texture and spray on texture to match, then I'll paint over it. Yeah. 
Let that dry and I'll do another coat. Okay, we'll let that dry and put a second coat on when it's dry. <laughs> While I wait for the uh, spackle to dry on the walls in this room, uh, I'm gonna go ahead to the next room and repeat. So I'm gonna clean the baseboards, clean the windows, clean the door, uh, clean off any dirty spots on walls, uh, fix any holes in the walls or in the ceiling with spackle and, and um, and then I'll come back and check on this room and do a second coat of spackle on these holes that I've patched. All right, I finished the second bedroom and this room will be ready to start painting the ceiling and the trim.